Hey there, history buffs. Today I'm diving into one of history's greatest mysteries, the destruction of Nalanda University. Now, if you haven't heard of Nalanda, buckle up. You're in for a wild ride through ancient India. This place wasn't just any university, it was the university. Imagine a Hogwarts, but for ancient scholars. Nalanda, located in today's Bihar, was a thriving hub of knowledge from the 5th to 12th centuries. It housed over 10,000 students and 2,000 teachers, covering subjects from astronomy to medicine. But then, in the 12th century, poof, it was reduced to ashes. So, who burnt it down? Well, there are a few suspects, and today's episode is all about unmasking them. Let's meet our first suspect, Bakhtiar Kilji. This guy was a Turkish-Afghan military general. He had a bad day, rolled into town, and boom. History says he torched Nalanda to the ground. But why, you ask? Some say he was just trying to eliminate the competition. Others think he just hated books. Who hates books? Then there's the theory that it wasn't Kilji at all. Some believe it was a gradual decline, a slow burn, if you will. You know, like when you leave a pizza in the oven too long. The political instability, repeated invasions, and waning patronage could have led to Nalanda's downfall. Boring, I know. But there's also a juicy conspiracy theory. What if it was an inside job? What if the Brahmins, seeing the rise of Buddhism through Nalanda, decided to pull the plug? I mean, ancient drama, am I right? So was it Kilji, a pizza situation, or an inside job? While we may never know for sure, what remains is the legacy of Nalanda, a beacon of knowledge, a symbol of intellectual pursuit, and a reminder of the fragility of great institutions. And hey, next time you're browsing through your history books, give a nod to Nalanda. After all, it's not every day you stumble upon a mystery this old or this spicy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more historical mysteries unraveled with a pinch of humor. Until next time, keep questioning and stay curious.